Hello, this is a Magento tutorial on how to import products. Um, so, the best way to import a product is to first export it so you get the proper formatting for your store. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is log into the admin and we're going to export a product and then we can modify that product or add more products and, and import it. So once we're in the admin, we'll go to System Import Export Data Flow Profiles and we're going to click on Export All Products and for the sake of this tutorial we're just going to take one product and the way we specify that is uh, we can select a, a specific SKU and that's what we're going to do in this case. Uh, the other important thing to remember is the file name. So if you're exporting a lot of products you, you might want to change the file name because if you export one set and then export another, it's going to overwrite the file name unless you change it. Uh, the other important thing to note is the uh, the path. So right now it's sending the file, this file name, to var slash import, and this is the directory on your instance, your your local server. Um, so we'll get to that in a minute. Um, after we've made any changes you want to hit save and continue and save and continue will save the changes and allow you to stay on the same page which you want because uh, the next step is to click on the run profile tab and then just hit the button and you can see we've exported three records so the reason there were three records exported is because the SKU that I entered was for a configurable product. Now configurable products have simple products tied to them. Um, so in this case there's one configurable product and there are two simple products tied to it. And um, we'll get into that a little more in a minute. Uh, the next step you want to go to your cPanel and log in. Um, this is your server and we'll go to file manager and navigate to the var export directory where we'll find the file that we just exported which is this one so we'll download that and we'll take a look at it on our machine Okay, so by default it opened it um, in the wrong format, so I'm going to actually choose to open this in Microsoft Excel. And this is what our spreadsheet looks like. We have, uh, as I mentioned earlier, we have the product type, we have one configurable, that's the parent product, if you will and then we have two simple products these are child products so if you look at the SKU you can see the, the SKU number and then these are children of that SKU so there's uh, a black option and a white option so we can change any of these attributes that are tied to a product uh, if you look at the, the top row here you'll see the uh, properties of a product. There's the URL, uh, there are images, and uh, there's a description. So we could change the description, um, anything like that. And then we would just save it, and we can go back to our, our import export utility back to data profiles, data flow profiles. We're going to import all products this time. And the first thing we're going to want to look at is um, the upload file. Uh, typically these defaults are fine. Um, the number of records you might want to change. If, if you just want to import one record on a spreadsheet of maybe you know 500 records you could specify it here uh, the data transfer type is interactive uh, and that's what you want 
the only other thing you might want to change is the format. Um, so right now I'm set to XML and that's fine because I exported it as XML. As long as you import and export in the same format, you'll be fine. Um, so the first step in the import process is to uh, find the file that you modified. So we're going to find this file and the file is on my local machine here. Okay, and I'll import. I found my file and I'm just going to hit the save and continue button and that's going to cause uh, Magento to upload the file and now when I go to run profile I can see this file and select it and from here I just hit the run profile button and um, sometimes this process can take a while but you can't close the window otherwise it'll abort the process and so you can see our records were imported fine and Magento is just refreshing the, the indices. And once you see this message, you're done. You can close this window. And you can go to uh, whatever products you imported and you can validate that they were imported properly on the front end as well as the uh, the admin and that's it that is the process of actually exporting and importing products and you can do this in mass quantity um, if you're doing a, a huge amount of uh, imports huge amount of products you know anything maybe over uh, 100 or 200 uh, you want to make sure you modify the settings in your PHP INI file and uh, if you Google Magento imports, y you can find the information on that. Thank you. Bye-bye.